Bring the fish. Today we're going to be looking at another Series 3 figure, and it's Gil Grunt, or as it was called on the package, Anchors Away Gil Grunt. Now, Gil Grunt's always been one of my favorites ever since the original. It's just, you know, he doesn't have any real flashy attacks, but his attacks are pretty good. I, I guess you could say he's one of the grunts of Skylanders. <laughs> uh, we have, I think, pretty much every Gil Grunt figure, even the green one. Well, uh, all the ones that I know, there might be some like, special crystal one that we haven't seen or something. But anyway, as far as this one goes, it's your standard Gil Grunt. You know, he's got his big anchor. He's flexing away there, showing off some of his fish muscles. Like, big smile on his face. He's got his little tanks on the back there, which is you know, just complete barrels. The bottoms are filled in. There doesn't seem to be any scratches or dings or anything on this one. This one's pretty good. Yeah, overall, I really like it. So I can't wait to actually get him in game and trying him out to see what his, see if he has any new skills and uh, what his starting stats are going to be like. So let's go put him on the portal and check him out. Hello, everybody. Here we are back again in Skylanders Swap Force, and today we're going to be taking a look at Anchors Away Gilbrunt. So we'll look at his starting skills. He's got his, well, his crit, so 40, 60. His uh, starting attack. That's not too bad. We'll go ahead and grab a little bit of money. And his other attack, the water spray. So it hits for 20. It's run out. I thought it used to stop. Uh, let it fill back up. We'll try a little bit of range on this. So it can crit. Okay. After it runs out, you just don't get the range. But you can still hit close range melee attack wise and of course jump so he uses his kegs to jump now that's cool so let's go ahead and let's take a look at his skills actually we'll start with the stats first all right gill starts off at 270 health 35 speed 6 armor 10 crit i think it's the highest we've seen so far and of course while it says 74 elemental power, but you got to take into consideration that he's getting 49 from all the other Skylanders we've already put on. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll take a look at his skills now. All right, the first skill he starts off with is the harpoon gun. So press Y to shoot a high velocity harpoons at your enemies. All right. And of course, the other one, the power hose. Press and hold Y to spray water at your enemies to knock them back. I completely forgot about the knockback. That's why it's always good to read the skills you actually start with as opposed just to jumping on the power pod and seeing what the upgrades are. So a lot of the times I just forget what, you know, there's so many Skylanders out now, I just forget what their starting skills actually do. But we'll move on. So barbed harpoons. Harp harpoons deal more damage. High pressure power hose. Power hose attack does extra damage and knocks enemies back further. Sweet. Harpoon repeater. Harpoon reloads faster. Oh, I think the picture's kind of deceiving. It makes it look like it shoots three at a time. But either way, uh, your basic attack getting upgraded is always good. So next one, the water jet pack. Hold X to fly until the water jet packs runs out. Uh, gain increased speed and resistance while flying. Now, of course, I have played him in uh, Spyro's Adventure and Giants, and I really love that skill then. So we'll go ahead. We'll take a look at Anchor Cannon. Which used to be his, uh, I guess his old soul gem. Hold Y to charge Anchor Cannon. But it looks like he has a new skill in this game. Uh, anchor Management. Charge up the Anchor Cannon and press Y to do a spe special damage. Uh, I'm not sure if he's actually getting a new skill. Or if I just don't remember this one from the other one. But either way, in Swap Force, he has this one here now. Let's go ahead and look at the fork. So the top one looks like it works on the trident. So uh, harpoon deals even more increased damage. Piercing harpoons. Harpoons travel straight through enemies and hit targets behind them. Now this is the line I think uh, I picked with most of my gill grunts. I have done the bottom one as well, but I just found this one here to be more of my play style. I uh, shoot three harpoons at once. That's the one that was throwing me for a loop here because I didn't remember getting it that early. But anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the bottom fork. Reserve water tank. The power hose and water jetpacks never run out. 
That's pretty awesome when you do get that. Boiling Water Hose. Power Hose attack deals even more increased damage. And of course, Neptune's Gun. Uh, when using the Power Hose, press Y to launch exploding creatures. All right, so that concludes our first look at Grill Grunt. Uh, like I said, he was, he's probably one of my favorites overall. It's not why I don't play a lot, because he's just not that flashy, but he's always just been like one of the, the workhorses of the team. So I look forward to actually checking him out again in swap form. So go ahead and let me know how you feel about Gilgrunt. Do you wonder why they've kept him around for three versions of the game? Or are you happy to see him making a return here? Anyway, go ahead and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.